Hey everyone, my name is Justin DeRoy and this is Hi-Fi Productions Schmodown Reaction. Today we got Mike Kawanowski versus Rachel Cushing. This is gonna be a good match. I know Rachel Cushing with Nerdwatch, she is uh, she's pretty good. Uh, she always uh, does really well in the matches I see her in. And Mike Kawanowski, we just actually saw him win a singles match. I can't remember the, the woman's name, but you know. That whole, uh, the cosplay match where he was Batman, she was, uh, Harley Quinn. Pretty amazing that he gave her as a reward, uh, pudding. <laughs> this is rubbing her face. Uh, pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, this should be a good match. I don't have much more else to say than introduce this, so I think, uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. Unless, Michael, anything that? Well, I mean, you forgot to introduce me, but, yeah. Oh, shit. Awkward. Very awkward. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and get this started then. Sorry! Movies, Marvel movies and Star Wars. And then you got The Crusher, Rachel Cushing, Lord of the Rings. Um, classics, although classics not on the inner geekdom, so we'll see how she does there. And of course, Harry Potter, a big strength for The Crusher. I think you forgot uh, Mike Kalowski's other strength, which is uh, a large right. tub is, full of that's man why costumes. He, he certainly does this have is, a lot of those uh, costumes. Um, I think that he might be wearing something. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure Alright, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time it for the movie trivia. That's how I got keep up on the news and the stuff. In the enough, inner geekdom division, the match. Introducing first. This episode brought to you by Vix Chips. Or Missy, uh, Miss Vicky Chips. Representing the really. Nerds Watch. But if they would like to sponsor with a record us, that would be awesome. Of zero wins, one defeat. She is Rachel the Crusher. here and then what's happening it's rustling ken is, is opening the curtain yeah. oh, oh, no. oh no it's a lord oh, of the rings wow. entrance for the cush the where does one find a road like that oh. that is she's she's got her own dedication And now, entrance is six degrees better look out. Look at that entrance here. That was she, is the, she is the nicest, intimidating person I've ever met. In yeah, very true. Yeah. And her opponent. <laughs> this is going to be a bad costume again. Representing the lead. I wouldn't be surprised. With a record of zero wins, one defeat. Cool costume, though. He is Mike the Killer. Not so Captain America. The, the guy has really become something big here in the league, as has the front. How big of a tub do you have to get to fit that whole It's a man tub. It is it's a man tub. All right, yeah. so a little something for you guys to know. There are going to be three big inner geekdom matches. So one of those matches is this match right here, Kalinowski versus Cushing. Then Coy Jandrew will be say, facing though, that guy's Jason here is pretty on point. And <laughs> Robert right? Meyer Burnett will be going up against Jay Washington. And those three matches, the winners of those matches will have a triple threat match. And the winner of that match will face Hector Navarro in the Schmodown Spectacular Navarro! in December. And Burnett's good. Burnett is here. I, I, I heard Burnett say that at Comic-Con that the only person he fears most is his himself, which uh, by the sound of his voice is louder than just about anybody else. So if he thought himself, I'd be okay. Yeah. All right. So here we go, guys. Three rounds. Here's how the first round works. The competitors will get 12 questions. 12 questions. 
12 categories here in the world of inner geekdom worth one point apiece. You have to write your answer, show it to the camera, please. Don't show it to the judges, don't show it to the crowd, show it to the camera, and say it at the same time. Show it to you have the JTE rule, meaning you can ask for three repeats <laughs> in the course of sure, the fun. match. Also, challenge. Do not well, forget to challenge. The game would do not think if the particular opponent. question was worded right. You're right here. If you you're think that's there, was maybe an answer that was incorrect. We'll that's false. Like, correct. Yeah, I know other people like I said. Third judge like, comes um, out with Makuga and myself. We will debate it. Like, and if you are challenged, play for one. As keep your challenge accurately as they do for the team show. Challenge. All right. Killer. Are you ready? I'm ready. Rachel, are you ready? I don't get that hard. Let's get ready to show I'm excited. I'm very excited. This is a championship type race. Yeah. Great match. There are signs in the crowd. There are signs in the crowd. I've got a crush on the crusher. I like that. Okay, here we go, guys. In the first category in the realm of Star Wars, in the prequels, we learn that Obi-Wan hates what? what grouchy old coot hates. Isn't yes. like spreading Always a fan of his beard, though. Like oh, yeah, great beard. Oh, God. Beard. Oh, God. In the spin-off. And oh, I think he hates the fun cars, Five. right? Four, did you boo me? Oh, let's see. Three, You're right. It's either the two, car, cars one or it's down. guns. Mike. No yes. Oh, Rachel. wow. Flying? That is that correct. Is correct. Oh, yeah. Rachel pushing the last second. Tell you what. Pulls it out. Yeah. Pushing does not mess around. No, she, she, she had to struggle with it for a second. Another guy is, is All right, what's the next one? Coming Star up. Wars. Second question. In the category of Marvel, why is Deadpool's suit red? It's the blood doesn't, doesn't show. show red. Yes. So Our blood, blood doesn't show. Uh, I said, doesn't show color That was a bell. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Rachel. To hide the blood. That's correct, Mike. Is the blood? It was. It was. It was. It was on the blood. It was on the blood. I don't think we can. I, think I, it was on the blood. Uh, it was. It was uh, the bleed. You want to challenge that? Because it, it, it was on the blood. I was saying it was. It, when I wrote, it was blood on. I'll challenge that because it was blood on. It was blood on. It was blood on. It was on the blood. It was. It was blood on. It says that. It does say it was blood on. It was blood on. I challenge. No, that one. I don't know about that. It is really confusing how we All wrote right. it. So can I can I do this one? Yeah, sure. Well, I'll, let me just say that we've reviewed the challenge. We reviewed, reviewed the challenge. The challenge. Upon judge. further review, yes. the judges have decided Kanowski gets the point. Kanowski right, so will get the point. Judges preferred. Mike will get the point there, and he keeps his challenge. All right, All so right. here we go. Next Finger question. In the category of DC movies. Puddin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite flavor of pudding. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Had to do it. Who played Superman in Superman Returns? Oh, that's um. You looked at that question like it was. God, the guy who's yeah, playing Adam. Oh, no. On um. Not, not a big fan of Superman Returns. There it is. Batman Returns. What's what his name? Five. Yes. Um. Uh, three. Jesus Christ, I know his name. One. Mike. Brandon Ralph. That's correct. Damn it. Brandon Ralph. That's All correct. All right. Sorry, there you go. I should have said Brad. Man, you man. Man. Like 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 the crowd, crowd just left. Yeah. The whole crowd just left. So one like saying, in like is back there Brandon just Brad. politely like clapping because he feels yeah. bad. And Ben Bateman is texting. Yes. That's good. Right, here we go. good, good, good. He's not allowed to clap in a suit. In the cat, question number four in the category of Back to the Future. In Back to the Future 2, what baseball team Cubs. wins the, the World Cubs. Series yeah. in 2015? Oh, yeah, they know. This is an that. that seems like... It's a really easy one because like he actually almost did win the World Series in 2015. But then they won last year. Four, yeah. three, two, one. Count out. Cubs? Cubs? That's correct. correct. Rachel. Chicago Cubs. There you go. All right. All right. Here All right. we go. Four, Next. three. All right, here we go. Next category in the category of Star Trek. Who played Carol Marcus in Star Trek Into Darkness, a.k.a. Robert Meyer Burnett's favorite of the series? Yes. Also, I think that's my that favorite one thing to not right? do, that go was into the darkness. Of the Admiral no, that's true. You're, dark you're, you're, not, you're scared of everything. Yes. Yeah. I have no idea who it is, though. Five, four, wow. three, two, one. Rachel. Alice Eve? Correct. Right. Mike. Uh-oh. Ooh. Eve Alice. Oh, <laughs> can't take that. Can't take Eve Alice. Wait, hold on. Did you put a comma after Eve? No, uh, yeah. no, no. Can't, no. Can't, can't take that, Yoda. No, Yoda, we really, cannot take that. It is, it's it's five three pushing is still... In the lead there. Mike Kalnowski can make a couple but of crucial flawless, mistakes. But also flawless. But also flawless. She has been, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Question number six. 
in Lord of the Rings. If Rachel gets this incorrect, she is kicked out of the Schmodown. <laughs> what form did the water take that swept away the Black Riders Horse, in Fellowship yeah. of the Ring? I like rings, not a big fan of fellows. You don't like the ring. Yeah, I'm, I don't like you. Yeah, the ring is a terrible movie. Five, no, five, four, three, two, one, ten, down, my count up. Horses? Correct, Rachel. Galloping horses. That there is you go. Correct. Throwing in the galley. Yeah, I can say, she's not about specific. It was just simply the galloping water. horses. Don't mess around with the truck. All right, and the door is no galloping horses. MCU. What is the name of Doctor Strange's cloak? Um. The I like local cloaks. levitation. Not a big cloak, yeah. What's your cape's name? Uh, uh, cape, uh, Harold. Harold. Harold, Harold, Harold the Cloak. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Rachel. Cloak of Levitation? That's correct. Oh, my cloak of Levitation. All right, well, so there you is. go. Cushing and Kalinowski now. I lied to you about my cloak's name. It's, it's Al Cloaker. I like the first one. Uh, okay. I like the first uh, one. Uh, All right, next. <laughs> In Harry Potter. What was the name of the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor in Half Blood Prince? That was a very um, strange accent. Uh, it was it was my Harry Potter Hester accent. Thank no. you, sir. Yeah. I'm in the house God. slithering. I know it is. It, that was the fat you guys one. Can you Five, can boo me. It's fine. Three. Huh? Can you repeat the, the question? Right. No, in the, the, the category of guy. Harry Potter. Oh, good lord. What was the name of the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor? Oh, I know. In you know what? The Half Blood Prince. I think, no, and that one he became potions. Five? Yeah. Four? Three? Or oh, was it Professor two, Snape? Two notes. One, Mike Kalinowski. Dolores Umbridge? That's incorrect, Rachel. Right? Snape. That is correct. Uh, that's, oh my crap! That's, oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what I was thinking of, he gets moved <laughs> over <laughs> to potions. No, category of Snape DC is moved to defense against Dark Wow, I pulled that one At right on my ass. Of BBS, where does Batman tell Lex Luthor that he's going to be transferred to? Oh, Not Asylum? Arkham Asylum. 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 My dad was transferred my second, second grade. I'm guessing that's where most of the villains go, yeah. like the Batman Five, universe. Four, or the Batcave. Three. No, he isn't. I know. One, I know. Pins down, Mike Kalinowski. Arkham Asylum. That's correct. Yes. Rachel. Arkham. She got wow. it. She got it. She's still perfect. Last second. Still perfect here. Wow. New category coming up here. Holy moly. What do you got? In my favorite trilogy of all time, <laughs> Indiana Jones. I like how you cut the fourth one. Yes, that's a trilogy. I know. I what is game. the Big first game name game. of Kate Capshaw's character in Temple of Doom? Huge fan of Temple yep. of Doom. Yep. Love it. I love it. It's I think good. It's, uh, it's, I have it's no idea. I, it is a pretty cool. God, I've only oh, watched that Terry. one Four. a few times Three. out of all of them. This because it's like my least one favorite. Hands down and Rachel. Willie? That's Willie is correct. That's wow. correct. That's correct. And my, Willie. That's correct. Well Willie. done. Rachel had the spelling off, but we're going to get it. Yeah, it's it. fine. That's okay. This is uh, not Final Jeopardy. It's okay. It's okay. It's I. We know count spelling. I didn't count it. I didn't count it. Did you just say we know count spelling? And I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Two more categories here, mm -hmm. and Rachel Cushing, tempting, flirting with a perfect round. James Bond is your next category. What? James Bond is your next category. That's a broad category, in, too. You're allowed to be a geek and like James Bond. Turn heel over Finally. this bullshit. <laughs> James Bond. Finally. Looks you heard never. Who played M in the Pierce Brosnan Bond film? Oh, that was still the same one. Um, I've been yeah. a big fan of the Pierce Brosnan uh, song. Judy Lynch. Run by fruit. Jane something. Oh, your was a song. Lynch. Yeah, yeah. Judy Lynch. Judy Lynch. Lynch. Yes. yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Mike Kalinowski. Dame Judy Dench. That's correct. Rachel. Judy Dench. Okay. Ray Fiennes. All right, so uh, Rachel misses. Wow, Rachel's Rachel first miss. Jane Jane she Jane is Jane. red with anger. I still think I should get she that. is Calandria, the white yes, princess. She does not Blue like that we threw James Bond. No, not a fan. Here we go. All right, next category in the category of one more. The this Hobbit. Is, this is brand new. This, this is, is a Hobbit. brand new category the of Hobbit. The Hobbit. Another category mm. of the Hobbit. One of the greatest prequel trilogies that Ooh. nobody likes. <laughs> in The Hobbit, Gandalf suggests to Thorin that Bilbo should be hired as the company's... Thief. What? Yeah, thief. Uh, what? I like the way what? you do that in there. What? 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 A who? Yeah. It's when, a, maybe? It's a W-H-what sound. All right. Yeah. Five, four... 
I don't think the problem was as bad as just he made, made it unnecessary and right. long. He didn't cool. need to make that. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So Rachel Cushing, even though she didn't make it two, was the other ones. Yeah, tight, yeah. Well done, Chris. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Eleven eight here. Three points. Woo. Not devastating ever count out. It's a hell of a first Absolutely round. Absolutely, you can. All right, here we go now. Ah, bitch. Listen, you know what? It's, it's crazy, and I will say this again in the fantasy update. The inner geekdom just provides fantasy points. It really does. It really does. All right, so <laughs> here we go. Round number two. going to work like this. The contestants are going to spin the wheel. If it lands on something they don't like, they can spin again, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. The, each question worth two points apiece, five questions, unless you go to multiple choice. That's worth one. You can steal from your opponent in this round. Fifteen seconds to answer the question. Rachel, you are up. 11 to 8. Would you like to go first or second? I'm going first. Going yeah. first. All right. He is giving you go the ahead. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. 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 welcome yeah. to my job. Yeah. Welcome right. to yeah. it. Here yeah. she goes. That's a good spin. Yeah. 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 Crusher is not happy with me. Yeah. Crusher is crushing yeah. that spin oh. right oh. now. What's it coming at? Star Trek. Uh -oh. Star Trek. Is she going to go She seems a little wary of the Trek. Does she go with it? Which What kind? We haven't seen the knowledge of Star Trek from Rachel yet. Do it! Robert Meyer, we're next Yeah, you'd like me to, wouldn't you? Uh, the, the guy sleeps with Star Trek sheets and a cardboard cutout of, of Spock. I need there. an answer in five, or you're going to have to keep the category four. I'm going to go again. She's right. spinning, yeah. she's spinning. It took a while to think. That's there it is. Whoa! Almost oh, 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 She is determined. The wheel. Determined. Keep oh, going. might have been good. Uh, Marvel oh, movies. All right, okay. Marvel um, movies. She seems okay with it. She all right, here we go. Okay so, Marvel. That's just her catalog. Don't vote her. All right, Rachel. Here we go. Category of Marvel. Marvel. In X-Men, First Class, what is the name of Sebastian Shaw's secret society? The Hellfire Club. That is correct. Well done. Without even blinking. That is right. All right. Next question. Who played Stick in 2005's Electra? There's no name Stick. Multiple choice. Is it A, Dave, David Carradine? B, Bill Paxton? C, Terrence Stamp? D, Michael B. Bill Pax. A. I'll say C. Terrence Stamp is correct. Oh, well done. I didn't All think right. it was Steve wow. Carney, wow. but I, I knew question. for sure it wasn't In Spider-Man 2, Dr. Otto Octavius is an expert in what field? Astrophysics or something? Or quantum physics. Wow. Multiple choice. Is it A, nanotechnology, B, fusion, C, gene splicing, D, neurology. Fusion. Correct for one wow. more point. Yeah, All right, great for Three more, two more, three more questions, two more questions yes. here for the crusher. Who played mafia boss Howard Saint in 2004's The Punisher? Oh, well, that's a John Travolta. Multiple choice. Ooh. A, Will Patton. B, Ben Foster. C, Bill Paxton. Ooh, D, they already get John Travolta. A. Uh, Incorrect. Uh, Mike for steal. And it was who plays Howard Saint? Who plays Howard Saint? Correct. Travolta. That's correct for one well, point. Mike Kalinowski with a big steal there. That could be a big steal it there. Is, That's right. that James Bond. Final point. question here for Rachel. In Logan, what is the name of the place that Laura is trying to get to? Eden. For two points. Well, to right. Right. Rachel now taking an eight point lead it. over the killer. Mike, you're up. Give it a good spin. All right, Winter Soldier. Put it, I mean, Captain America. There you go. Put it in there. There it is. It's a hell of a spin right there. Good spin. It's a Captain America. I think he's looking the, for a, the truth serum. He's looking for kind of the wheel spin. to be nice to him. He's looking for oh. the wheel to be nice. Oh. Oh, he's close there. And so oh, good Lord. Lord of the Rings. He's going to spin away from that as fast oh, as he can. Oh, come on. Sure. Come on. Wow. Is oh, he going to get pressure? What's he going to do? Another crowd. What is he oh, come on. She probably doesn't know anything about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right, she wore that costume right now. Not going to mess around with right. Lord of the Rings. That's that's a good defensive that's a smart play. move to spin away from Lord of the Rings. Well done. Oh, Plus, wait if a minute you now. Uh -oh. don't want to take the round, because you don't want to get out of it. Oh, he's just missed Star Wars. He's got oh, that's like one of the worst ones. Oh, this is tough. That's tough. That's like, tough. I can sometimes right. give if Mr. they're just Killer talking about soundtrack, but if it's scores right. or who scored Three it. scores and soundtracks. I'm fucking what forget song it. does Baby Group dance to during the mid credit scene of Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, that's um, the Michael Jackson. Isn't that like ABC song? Multiple choice. What's Going the name of the choice? Is it A, oh, Ain't No yeah. Mountain Hina? Yeah. B, ABC. C, I Want You Back. D, Ain't Too Proud of Bed. Five. 
ABC? Incorrect. I want you back. Wow. One point for the front row. Oh, sure. Yeah, this is a different All right. Jack All right. Song. Here we go, Killer. Who composed the score for X Men First Class? Oh, there you go. Say so those clowns I don't know. Whatever. I do know it, but. Four. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it A. Henry Jackman? B. John Ottman? C. Michael Kamen? D. John B. Powell? A. Correct. Right for one point, point. gets him out of the knockout territory. That is true. He's down to 18 10. He needs to make a Hugh run here, Christian. Three, what song does Kirk and crew use to sabotage with the swarm? I love this song. Star Trek Beyond. Beastie Boys. Multiple choice. Wow. That's really? Guys, it's like the best part of that movie. Did is you not fucking gratitude? see it? Is it B, Novocaine? C, Stranglehold? Or is it D, Sabotage? Sabotage. That is correct. Point. Point. All right, fighting out of it. Fighting right out of it. Right now, he's got two more questions here, Christian. Still down 18-11. Scores and soundtrack is a tough one. Scores and soundtrack is tough for just about everybody. Not who, me. All right, take it easy. Uh, who composed the score for Watchmen? Watchmen. Oh. He's the same. I gotta make some points. So, um, Tyler Bates. Oh, what a point! Oh, that is correct. Oh, nice pull. I wanted to say maybe the same guy who did like the uh, like Dark Knight. Right that was fantastic. No one wrong. wrong. What Prince song played while Joker danced around the museum oh, in God. 1989's Batman? It's not that, but it's not Michael Keaton. Bat dance. Incorrect. Oh, hey, uh, Rachel? I don't know the name of it. Alright, the, the answer Party Man. Party Man is the answer. Party Man. Party Man! That's correct. Party Man. Party man. Party man. Uh, you can you can challenge you can if challenge. you like. No, no, I, I don't. No, I don't. All right, all right. All right. So at the end of round number two, it was a nice maneuver there by Kalinowski, trying to get three points behind. Now he's five points behind, going into round number three. All right, it works like this. Round number three, the competitors are going to choose three numbers between one and eighteen. First one's worth two points. The second one worth three points. Third one is worth five points. Rachel, you are in the lead here. Please pick three numbers from one to eight. Two, seven, and eight. Two, seven, and eight. Woo! Mike Kalinowski. Five, fourteen, and seventeen. Five, fourteen, and seventeen. From Mike Kalinowski. Mike's trying to avoid the TKO here, starting with his two-pointer at number five. Mike, you have a two-pointer here in the world of Star Trek. Star Trek. Where is Spock rescued from in the opening scene of Star Trek Into Dark? I have no idea what the name of the volcano. Is. That's correct. Well done. Two points well done. now to tie well. the game and put it back. I think the Rachel Cushing. The next category is category on. number 14. You chose 14, and that is the DC EU. Oh my goodness. DC EU. He's wearing a Captain America outfit, Christian. It's right. going to me, right? This is going, going to you. you. It's going to you to tie the game here. What was the name? Of Zod's right hand woman in Man of Steel. I don't even know what the name of the woman was from. Um, the that's Man. not her name. Superman 2. Zadia? Four? Three? Can you repeat the question, please? Wow. Absolutely. Okay. Alright. What was the name of Zod's right hand woman in Man of Steel? Peora. Correct. Wow. wow. I didn't even tell you. It's game like time by Mike Kalinowski. Wow. Calm down, tied though. it, sending it back to Rachel, who now has to answer her two-pointer in order to send it back to Mike. Two-pointer here. All right. In the cat, in, you pick category number two, Rachel, and that is the category of heroes. Who played Abigail Whistler in Blade Trinity? Oh, that's... Um, Jessica Biel? Two, two, two points for the killer. Points. I mean, sorry. Two, two points yeah, for the Rachel. Crush, though, the crush. All right, so now Mike Kalinowski is forced to answer his five-pointer. If oh. he does, Rachel will have two opportunities yeah, here. Tough. All right, so yeah. Oh, Mike Kalinowski, for 17, no, no. you chose okay. scores and soundtracks. Oh! Fuck. All right, here you go. Here you go. Hey, man, how many JT rules do I have left, too? You have, you have two left. Yeah. All right, here we go. Your final question in order to throw it back to the crusher. What song plays over the opening credits of Deadpool? It seems to be a 
Tom and Oh, Hitch. is yeah. it? No, no, no. I'm thinking of the. I was thinking of the Bodyguard song, but that's the, the new like movie Bodyguard. Five, four, three. Repeat the question, please. What song, song I know is over the opening credits of Deadpool. God. It's gonna really annoy me if I don't. Somewhere over the rainbow? And you're yeah. winner! Ladies and gentlemen, the rainbow, the crusher, the answer was Angel of the Morning. Angel of the Morning, the crusher, takes it in a nail biter. Scores and soundtracks is now. I probably lean more towards Mike and Anasi uh, for this one, but uh, yeah, like I said, these two put up a pretty good, good fight on this match. Um, so, obviously, I think Major Cushing honestly earned that she had a, a stellar round because I think she had nearly perfect. Did she miss one? I can't even remember. You know? Yeah, the James Bond one. Oh, that's right. That's why. Because I was thinking I couldn't remember because I knew if she did get the perfect, she would have gotten. There's always the they give now the bonus question on the first round, but. Um, yeah, this is a fun match, uh, for sure. Uh, for sure. Um, uh, but that's uh, all my thoughts. Anything else you want to add? Nope. Nope. Well, then that's it for us today. Uh, like, share, subscribe this video, and also we will leave you some links. Um, this side of the screen, sorry. Uh, our subscribe button, link to my channel. And yeah, where Michael's pointing, they'll be somewhere on this side of the screen. And then up here in the top, we'll leave you a link to um, the trailer for my short film, Time Travel Sucks. Be sure to check that out. And if you like the trailer, maybe see the whole film and then let me know what you think of the movie. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for us today. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.